Here is how to use the blobby particle effect CC Mercury in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. Turn your layers into animated blobs like lava lamp goo or liquid chrome. You can also create fire using the CC Mercury effect. To add the CC Mercury effect, I'm gonna to go to the effects and presets panel, do a search for Mercury. You'll find it under the simulation category. I'll drag it right onto the layer. If you tap the space bar, you'll see right away you get this really cool blobby animation effect. I highly encourage you to just explore and play around with the different properties, but an easy way to animate this, I'll bring the CTI to the beginning, click the stopwatch for blob burst size, move the CTI forward in time, and just increase that until I see the entire image. I'll add some text to background, and that is the very cool and unique CC Mercury in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers. Here is how to use the blobby particle effect CC Mercury in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. Turn your layers into animated blobs like lava lamp goo or liquid chrome. You can also create fire using the CC Mercury effect. To add the CC Mercury effect, I'm gonna to go to the effects and presets panel, do a search for Mercury. You'll find it under the simulation category. I'll drag it right onto the layer. If you tap the space bar, you'll see right away you get this really cool blobby animation effect. I highly encourage you to just explore and play around with the different properties, but an easy way to animate this, I'll bring the CTI to the beginning, click the stopwatch for blob burst size, move the CTI forward in time, and just increase that until I see the entire image. I'll add some text to background, and that is the very cool and unique CC Mercury in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.